Ann Waterman met her future husband one Halloween night. She was instantly smitten. I knew I was in love, just like that. She was from Michigan, he was from Pennsylvania, yet somehow they met in the middle in Ohio at the Cleveland Institute of Art. By Thanksgiving, um, Don proposed. And they began to sketch out their future. After graduating college and with her parents' blessing, they made their love official. And I was an only child, so it was a big thing. And they moved to Mexico to begin their life. They soon became a family when their daughter Kathy was born. And after a year, they picked up and moved again, this time to Syracuse, New York, for Don to begin a teaching career at the university. And he was a wonderful teacher. The very picture of happiness, they created a whole family, giving Kathy two little brothers, Mark and Robbie. They even helped create the Syracuse University design program. But 30 years after their whirlwind November courtship, Another November brought tragedy. He had a clog, the clogged artery here in his neck, and he died instantly. Being ready to go to school. Married at 19 and widowed at 49, Anne had found and lost love quickly. It is said the true test of living is how well you handle loss along the way. And sometimes those who lose the most lead the most fulfilling lives. Obviously, that Thursday, Don's classes were canceled, but surprisingly to all, Anne took over that Monday. Started the classes and continued on with what, you know, and told them, we'll be all right, we're going to do it. His work, which became her work, just might be what saved her. But then come spring, her contract wasn't renewed. It was terrible politics. She decided to do what her and Don knew best, uproot and start again. She taught college art in Los Angeles for many years before deciding teaching no longer filled the void Don left behind. So again, she picked up and moved close to where it all began, this time to Santa Fe, New Mexico. There, Anne continued what they both loved, painting. And then the painting took over in Santa Fe, and, and that was it. Just a few years later, Anne found herself back in Syracuse to help her daughter during a painful time. So, it was time. And while this spring brought life back to Syracuse, for Anne, it brought an even greater loss. Kathy, her oldest child, only daughter, had passed. Pancreatic cancer is a mean one to yeah. her, absolutely mean one. If you could weigh time, that moment must have been crushing. Anne had once again lost one of her life's greatest loves. I didn't paint for about a month. If so, but then I realized, you know, it's what keeps me going. It's what, and I, ideas started flowing back in, and I, I thoughts about what I could do. And she knew painting was her answer, her newest piece now on display. The children dancing and moving, and the fact that life goes on, and then they move, they move up into the sky. Anne's talent cannot come close to replacing what she has lost, but she is painting for better days to come. Certain times things just work for you. In Syracuse, Sarah Barth, NCC News.